Hello there. Uh, my name is Greg Travers. I'm the commissioner of the Martinez Bocce Federation. And I'm here to do a short video to clear up some details about the proposed fence. We're trying to get uh, through the Parks Commission and in turn uh, City Council. We're currently working with city staff. Staff has been very cooperative so far and uh, we're working together to uh, go through the process. Uh, but I did want to clear up some uh, misconceptions and just basically explain why we're doing what we're doing. Um, several months ago, the board of directors decided to proceed with this. Um, and uh, it's been a lot of work. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is uh, simply we want to protect the courts when they're subject to damage. Um, every city, as far as I know that I've ever heard of, uh, when their playing fields uh, get wet and are subject to damage, they are closed. These are our playing fields, 15 of them. Um, so uh, that's all we're trying to do. We're not trying to keep anybody out. Uh, the plan is for a five foot high black chain link fence with five gates around the property. Uh, all right, so what we're gonna do is um, the gates will be locked when the courts are subject to damage. They'll be opened uh, when the courts are suitable for play. Now, a fair question is, well, what's the criteria for opening up the courts? And the criteria is simple. I will show you. Many of our members, especially our seniors and some of our novice, more novice players, throw from the waist. And I, some of you may have noticed that uh, at different points of the season, there are pock marks just beyond the throw line. And this is why, when you throw like that. Now, when we can throw a ball from waist height and not have it adversely impact the courts, they're ready to play. It's that simple, right? It's really, really simple. So we can make the call, open the courts, and get people in here. Now, in terms of playing time, uh, so we open the courts at 7.30 every morning, our team, uh, and they, during the off season, the public has complete access, right? Whether you're an MBF player or not, we encourage everybody to use the facility. That's why we do what we do here, right? We do it for everybody, it's for the community, not just the MBF. Now, during the season, the six month season, then obviously we show up about five o'clock. Prior to that, the gates are still open at 7.30. Everybody has access. So again, I can't say this enough. All this is about, 100%, is protecting these courts from damage when it's wet. So um, as far as the opponents, we have a handful of opponents to the fence. They've put forth some ideas such as leaving the lights on at night, all night. Uh, we tried that after play and we immediately had, in the middle of the night, eight, I'm assuming, homeless people uh, immediately, like moss to a flame down here. So the last thing we want to do is provide light and attract people here, okay? Now another thing that the anti-fence people have put forth is security cameras. Now so all security cameras are going to do is give us great footage of people destroying the courts, okay? No one's getting arrested. It's not preventative. A fence is preventative. Now just a little bit more about how the courts are getting damaged other than throwing by the waist. People coming down here practicing when they shouldn't. Um, it's also people just like you and I that may not be familiar with the program here that are just walking through the property with their kids, with their dog. Um, I had a perfect example this year. We had groomed the courts prior to the season in the spring. They had an Easter egg hunt near the skate park. Okay, so it rained. They got it in between the raindrops. Okay, so I showed up on court one to, to make sure the courts were okay, as I do regularly. And sure enough, there's a little girl's footprint, and then it was obvious that dad brought her to the egg hunt because there's a size 12 boot print right next to it. Okay, now thankfully, when they both stepped in, they backed out of the court. That is not always the case, okay? People with their dogs, dog prints, right? Just people walking from point A to point B that just don't know any better. Another big thing is bicycles. OK, 
Kids love to ride their bikes in the courts, right? Without a fence, they have free access through here, and it is really hard to, to make these repairs. It is very time consuming. We have to physically scrape the courts, and it's hard work. Lastly, um, why, we're do why I'm doing this right now is because really uh, for the MBF or any city or public agency, success is the absence of complaints. You don't know any better until we let you know what problems we, we deal with on a regular basis. Our goal on the board of directors is to have you show up here, use the courts, and you're not thinking anything about anything but having a good time. And I think we've done a good job of, of, of that uh, during my tenure. I know we have, because if there's a complaint to be heard, I hear it, okay? So please support the board of directors. We're the people down here dealing with this stuff. There is not one person that's come up to me that's anti-fence, and, and there haven't been many, but these people that show up at public comment, they're not doing anything down here. They're not monitoring the courts. They're not cleaning it up. I don't understand how people that are basically showing up and going home are so passionate about something they're really not experiencing, okay? I've been commissioner for seven years. I've been, I'm senior maintenance person for the city of Lafayette Parks. I deal with sites like this all the time. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about, okay? This site, this is the largest site of its kind in the country, probably the world. It's not a natural meadow, okay? No one's picking daisies and chasing butterflies here. This site is for, here for one reason, and that is to play bocce ball for the community, right? It's not nature anymore. So please support us. Get on the computer, email the Parks, de Parks Department, City of Martinez, tell them that you support the board of directors in protecting this investment for the community. We need you to speak up. We cannot get this done without your support. I hope that helps your understanding of the situation. Obviously, it's something I'm very passionate about. I've worked very hard towards this. I believe in it. Protecting this site is all it's about. It's the right thing to do. Thank you.